Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Pettis. Getting diagnosed with prostate cancer is very scary. The immediate questions are, will I survive? And what will life be like after treatment? The good news is that the vast majority of patients with newly diagnosed prostate cancer are curable, and in some cases, may not even need treatment at all. There's a lot of misinformation out there about prostate cancer, and I hope that this will clear up some of the confusion. In the United States, prostate cancer is the most common solid organ cancer in men. According to the American Cancer Society, about 220,000 patients will find out they have prostate cancer this year. Some 28,000 patients will die from prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is so common that about one of six men will develop it at some point in their lives. So who's most at risk for developing prostate cancer? Certain racial groups, African Americans in particular, are at higher risk for developing prostate cancer, while others, like native-born Asians, are at lower risk. Certainly, the older a man gets, the greater chances of developing prostate cancer. Unfortunately for us Americans, obesity has also been linked to prostate cancer. Finally, having a brother or father who had prostate cancer also puts you at higher risk for developing the disease. Before we talk more specifically about prostate cancer, let's talk about what the prostate is and its purpose in life. Many people think that the prostate is located inside the rectum. Not true. Actually, it's situated between the bladder and the urethra. The urinary stream runs through the prostate. An interesting fact, the prostate never stops growing, just like your ears or nose. As it gets bigger, it starts to partially block the flow of urine. That's why older men will commonly complain that they don't have a good urinary stream and that they have to go to the bathroom more frequently than they did when they were younger. The reason the doctor has to do a rectal exam is because that's the only way to examine the gland. And even then, the doctor can only feel the back side of the gland. Fortunately, that's where most cancers will form. The prostate's purpose in life is reproductive. It produces about 30% of the volume of a typical ejaculation. The seminal vesicles contribute almost all the rest of it. Interestingly, the testis contribute less than 1% of the total ejaculation volume. The fluid secreted by the prostate nourishes sperm cells inside the female reproductive tract and ultimately makes fertilization of the egg possible. So you can live without your prostate gland, but you cannot reproduce without it. What is cancer? Simply put, it's unregulated cell growth. Normal cells divide only a certain number of times during your lifetime, and that process is highly regulated by genes in your DNA. When something happens to make those genes not function properly, you can have unregulated cell division, and the cells can divide over and over and over. That's cancer. Each time the cells divide without regulation, the chances for further damage to the genes increases making them less likely to stay where they are and more likely to metastasize or spread to different parts of the body. Prostate cancer may be detected in one of three ways. PSA screening is the most common. PSA is a chemical secreted by the prostate gland tissue, and the PSA levels can be elevated in prostate cancer. PSA testing has many shortcomings and is typically only recommended in men over the age of 50 who have a 10 to 15 year life expectancy. Most patients with prostate cancer detected by PSA screening have absolutely no symptoms of the cancer at the time of diagnosis. The second way prostate cancer may be detected is when there's a hard nodule in your prostate gland and your doctor feels it during a prostate examination. Patients who have this type of prostate cancer may have some obstructive symptoms such as slow stream and not being able to empty their bladder, although these types of symptoms can arise from the prostate getting bigger with age as well. In these patients, the cancer is usually a little more advanced than when it is detected by PSA alone, but most of these cancers are still curable. Finally, prostate cancer may be found on imaging, like CT or MRI, when looking for something else. Often patients in this category have some other problem, unexplained weight loss, a broken bone, back pain, that prompts the doctor to order the imaging study. Unfortunately, these patients often have advanced disease. Prostate cancer is a very common disease. While many men die each year of prostate cancer, early detection and appropriate intervention or surveillance can save lives.